So the title says insects, but in actuality, we're going to be talking about arthropods, which they um, are invertebrate animals and they have an exoskeleton, uh, segmented bodies, jointed appendages, um, and they are from the phylum arthropoda. Uh, and they include insects, arachnids, myriapods, and crustaceans. So what is an insect, like the title says, it's a class of invertebrates within the arthropod phylum. Um, they have chitinous exoskeletons, three-part bodies, which is the head, thorax, and abdomen. And they also have three pairs of jointed legs, compound eyes, and one pair of antennae. So for this webinar, we're going to have both insects and then insects that are in the arthropod uh, family. Uh, we have other creepy crawlies and all sorts of things to talk about today. Now they can be used for behavioral lessons. Some make just great classroom pets, but uh, I will be talking about all that. These guys are the best bugs. Are we on the next slide? We are. They're also called wood beetles. Some people call them Betsy beetles, which I think is a great name for them. Um, they are insects and let's see here. I'm on that camera. Whoops. And sometimes they jump down. <laughs> okay. So what we have here can go to the smaller camera or the close up and there we go. Perfect. So these guys have like a, a kind of a horn on their head. They do have pincers, um, but they don't really bite. I mean, they're very docile as you can see. Um, I can touch the front and he doesn't really feel it necessary to bite. They do use it to eat wood, so that's why they need such sharp pincers. Um, they have about a two year lifespan. Um, what's really cool about them is they are subsocial, so they care for their young. So they um, help feed the young, they help build nests for the young all together. Um, and they communicate uh, via acoustical sounds, which is kind of like a high pitched noise um, that they make and larvae, including larvae and adults make this make this sound. Oh, I'm getting a little fuzzy here. Sorry. Let me see if I can come back. There we go. Um, they uh, produce these uh, through uh, vibrations um, that they make uh, by rubbing their third leg against their striated area. And that's how the uh, larvae make the sound. And um, the, uh, the adults actually do the sound by rubbing the upper surface of the abdomen, abdomen against their wings back here, which is underneath this layer right here. But these guys are great. Um, they also are, are very low maintenance. So the terrarium, again, is soil, rotting wood, which we, um, can, um, we have here to sell. And you can look at that care sheet, which has pretty much all the information you need on it to check it out. Um, if we could go to the next slide, I could um, talk about, yeah, there we go. So they come in packets of six, um, and we do have a habitat. If you choose not to make your own, we um, send you all that stuff, including instructions. So they are very easy to take care of. Again, very low maintenance. I mean, pretty much all these um, critters, with the exception of the butterflies, are very low maintenance. Um, um, and the butterflies, it's just you have to transfer them. That's probably the most you have to do with them. So a uh, little bit of misting and these guys are happy as well. Um, now, if we go to the next slide, I will talk a little bit what these guys can be used for. Um, before yes. you go on, a um, couple questions. Sure. Um, do these have a similar exoskeleton as the hissing cockroaches as well as it, the um, front leg looks very similar to the hissing cockroach? Yep, they're both true insects. So they have the, the head, the abdomen, and they do have the jointed legs, so those look similar. Um, the exoskeleton as well, so they, they do also um, molt, but theirs, they do it underground, so it also, um, you can't usually find them. They're like disintegrated. But yes, they are both insects, just like the cockroaches. Any other questions on that? No? Not right uh, now. Keep okay. your questions coming, everybody. Yeah, Thank keep so going. <laughs> I like interacting. This is new for me. I usually am more used to interacting with people. Um, so these guys, um, like I said, low maintenance classroom pets, but um, a really cool thing to do with these, um, these insects is they do a tractor pull. So they are very strong uh, for insects. And what they, you can do is you can take a piece of um, string or um, uh, dental floss and make a little um, sled and then put weights on the sled and then students can calculate how many times stronger the insect is compared to humans. Um, they can then, you know, uh, hypothesize that the female or the male um, best bugs are stronger and also use kind of 
different weights or slide, sleds to see uh, what is easier for the best bug to pull. Um, I don't have one set up right now because I didn't, um, I didn't think we would have time to do it, but you basically just put the little loop around the, the insect's head and then create a little sled out of aluminum foil. Um, I can also send this out. I have it written down, a whole experiment. You can find a plethora of different ways to do this experiment um, in the classroom as well. So um, that is uh, what I have on the um, best bugs. Now you can also do the tractor pull with the um, hissing cockroaches as well. So you can also do an experiment in the classroom, see which one's stronger. Is the best bug stronger or is the um, cockroach stronger? And um, as with um, the other um, animals, most of these can be um, behavioral studies. So you can um, see, you know, light or dark, moist or, or dry. Um, it's always a very um, good experiment to do for students.